Safety is an important issue for all businesses. Companies must ensure that their operations are safe, not only for their own employees, but also for the public. Safety procedures are often regulated by law. O'Donovan is a waste disposal company in London. I went along to find out how they manage safety across their operations. Tell me who you are and what O'Donovan does. Uh, my name's Paul Neal. I'm the logistics supervisor here at O'Donovan Waste. Uh, O'Donovan Waste is a skip company where we collect waste from around London and recycle it. The company's trucks operate on busy roads. Safety procedures that include measures for protecting the public are a priority for the company. We have identified at an early stage there were too many cyclists being killed on London's roads, so we tried to do as much as we can to reduce that. We initiated a programme where we tried to get the vehicle lower so the driver can actually see more around the cab. And what we did was we fitted side guards to the vehicles just to see how low we could actually get them before they hit the ground. And I also understand that you fitted cameras and electronic sensors to all your vehicles. That's right. We've spent up to a quarter of a million pounds fitting these cameras and a system to the vehicle which tells us back at the head office how the vehicle is actually being driven. If we have any problems on the road, we can review the footage that the cameras take. They are 360 degrees, so we can see what's happening in front, to the rear and to the sides. At O'Donovan's recycling centre, workers handle a wide variety of waste materials that do pose a risk of injury. Paul is responsible for maintaining a safe working environment for staff. This begins with suitable protective clothing for everyone. How do you make sure your staff are safe both on and off site? Everyone's issued with the correct clothing to work in these environments. Also, every couple of months at our head office in Tottenham, we hold um, training programmes. Tell me more about the personal safety equipment that your staff have to wear. Well, it starts from the top with a hard hat. We wear a hard hat. Firstly, anything could fall on top of your head. But what we find more often is as people are walking around, they could hit something with their head. High visibility clothing, with movement of vehicles, we want everyone to know where everyone is. We have cut-resistant gloves. The employees are sometimes handling sharp uh, debris. It's also a mask. In the shed, it can be quite dusty, so we have a mask to protect the breathing. Also, still toe-cap boots, just in case anything drops on the foot. What happens if there is an accident on one of the O'Donovan sites? Well, unfortunately, accidents do occur, and if they do, we have uh, trained staff on site, first aiders, that's the first port of call. After that, once the uh, injured party is OK, we'll record everything. We have an accident book which we fill in, and then after that, we will try to learn what happened exactly and how we can go forward to make sure this doesn't happen again. How much does all this investment in safety actually cost your business? Well, as a company, we don't see it as a cost. We see it more as an asset. We understand that by becoming a safer company, it's going to benefit us in the long run. Paul, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. There's no doubt that the safety culture at O'Donovan Waste Disposal is strong. They don't see it just as an issue of compliance with regulation, but as a core part of what they do and who they are.